Mohawk Bud Talk, brought to you by Choice Edibles. Follow Choice Edibles on Instagram at choice.edibles and find all of their stuff. Are we running right oh, now? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> find all of their stuff. And up with us. And they tied an egg and picked one and gun and get us a dog, eh? Follow us on Instagram as well at Mohawk Bud Talk. Also, subscribe to Mohawk Bud Talk on YouTube for your chance to automatically be entered into our 100th giveaway. To find out who the winner is of the 100th giveaway, become a member at www.thecrediblemohawk.com. Our prize lot will be a 10-ounce bag of coffee from Two Row Coffee Co., where coffee and culture connect. Get right. your coffee from www.tworowcoffeeco.ca. Also in the prize, there will be some choice edibles. Also, you will get, uh, oh yeah, you can get all of choice edibles. I was just showing them, bro. You get a hot chocolate, maybe. Who knows? You get gummies. We have chocolates. We have it all. We got it all. Anyway, uh, you will also get your choice of any strand of weed that we've had on our show. You can find in our strain gallery on our website. And as well as our Wonka Bar. That's right. And you can also follow Two Row Coffee Company on Twitter and Instagram at Two Row Coffee Co. And if you didn't catch it then, catch it now. You get some Land Back Fold, Eastern Door Mile, or Seven Freaking Oaks, man. That stuff is good. That's some of that the other thing. Delish. I go for the, you know, the, the mild in the morning. The Land Back Fold is one of them evening coffees, you know. You know yeah. I mean? or unless you're into espresso and that kind of stuff. Maybe Land Back in the morning. And stuff. But... The next time we go live, what we're going to do is we're going to give away two grams of hash because congratulations to other hash, hash take hash giveaway winners. Yes. We're going to jump into it because we like giving that stuff away and give two more grams away. But you have to like and put, like and share our Facebook page. Like and share everything. That's right. So congratulations again to our winners of last week. We're also going to be giving away some choice edibles, a lollipop, and some gummies with that uh, two grams of hash. So like and share the facebook page make sure you jump on there because right after the video we're going to be giving the stuff away and we just want to hurry up and give it away because we like giving it away giving it away giving it away y'all give it away give it away give it away y'all tonight away, we away, have away, some away, excellent weed boom and we've got our little our uh hp sauce uh biking in here yes is... we do today on mohawk bud talk we have with us again kevin hey, hey kevin. kevin how you doing today kevin Very good, very good. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure, bro. Awesome sauce. Glad to have you back today, sir. Uh, what are you smoking today, Kevin? Oh, he's taking a guzzle. Today's garlic breath. The pizza Caramel, man. The garlic uh, breath. Garlic breath. The pizza man with the garlic breath strain. Good job. He's got that stank. He's got that stank. <laughs> I uh, seen that right before the show started uh, today, Kevin, that uh, you had a quick rip there, and you had to cough your lungs out a bit there. Was, is that a bit heavy strain? He comes or? back like this. <laughs> Just well, slow. It's not as much as being a heavy strain. It's more of I probably over the ball. Oh, my problem is I, my eyes are bigger than my lungs. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? It's well, it was after work, right? An after work sesh is always like, uh, you gotta hurry up and have a few huge ones, right? <laughs> totally, yeah, it's pretty dope. So, garlic breast, can you tell us about that one? I think we might have had that one. I can't remember. I, I feel like we have uh, we've had garlic breast, uh, season one, I want to say, yeah. Um, yeah, we were in a different spot in a different time. At, it was a different time seems in so a different long, spot. Seems so long ago. It seems so long ago. But really, it wasn't that long ago. No. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways. Anywho, Kevin, it's nice to have you back on the show, man. That's right. Hey, Kevin. We were talking to uh, Cynthia yesterday. That's right. And uh, she was... Uh, she was talking some shit about you, man. Yeah, she was... Talking some smack. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, no, just playing. Uh, but yeah, it was a great uh, having just her on yesterday. Uh, thank you again for introducing us I to. Uh, try one of these. We gotta save. Them. We do. Yeah, see, I'm saving them for you all. It's all y'all. 
You got you have no idea how much restraint I have to have out of this right. man. He wants to just eat it all. Right. And it is good. Is. Shout out to Choice Edibles. Thank you for all of your sponsorship. We That's appreciate delicious. everything you guys do. Find all of your edibles and all your needs for all of your choice edibles yep. at Instagram at choice.edibles. I thought you were going towards the dispensaries, bro. I thought you were going to like kind of egg and a sadag, uncle dust and pick walking again, but you went right to Instagram. And you could go there too. <laughs> so good job, choice. Um, but anyway, today's strain, ladies and gentlemen, is papaya punch. Yeah, it is. It is Kevin, this is one of the top so before shelf ones. before we get into the stream a little bit, I just want to say we had one of these before we started the show. And then Triple D was like, Oh, we gotta come up with some questions, and then he just started fucking busting out laughing. So we got a good one coming up here. Um <laughs> yeah, but it is 28% THC. It is delicious. Tell me about it. Tell me about this marijuana plant. How I'm many sorry. How many could you smoke? I'm, I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's it, uh, Kevin. It's one of those. It grabs you by the boo boo. It, it's one of those ones where it's like, oh man, that that's good marijuana. Yeah. But this papaya punch, oh, it's not ever tasty. Yeah, it is. It's delicious. <laughs> uh, sixty forty indica today strain with uh, as AB was saying, twenty eight percent THC. This one was definitely tested at that. Yeah, because there um, was a range, right? Yeah, <clears throat> pardon me. There is a range that we found on All Buds. Obviously, you can find all of your uh, needs on All Buds for that matter. Allbud.com. Allbud.com, shout out. Um, but yeah, they tested this one at 28%. It goes from 20 to 28%. Gave or me, 29%, sorry. I loaded and, this unit up and I, was like, I smoked it and I was like, literally had to sit and like enjoy the effect literally like when i said body high i wasn't kidding man oh no this is a heavy one like i saying it's top shelf don't let the 60 40 fool you the 28 percent is where it's at really yeah. um however this one uh is a cross between the famous purple punch which we just had the other day actually yeah. was it part of the tribrid uh no 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 that that, that one wasn't no, but no we actually had the purple punch the high uh tribred was yesterday yeah no so i mean i just was wondering if it was in that but we actually had the purple punch itself yeah yeah uh no the hybrid was something that was like three yeah, was strains three. i've never even really heard of it was pretty dope though mm -hmm. very good yeah uh the blue uh matro blue i think it was called natural blue yeah matro blue um this one is, yeah, Papaya Straight OG or whatever, and uh, Purple Punch. This one is more for medicinal purposes, as this one covers chronic pain, PTSD, stress, depression, and insomnia. And this is, again, uh, your basic straight-up indica ones. This one is for to go to sleep again, but more or less pain and uh help you get it around the day but don't confuse it with the macho blue this is not your basic bitch this is not a basic bitch no this, this is, is not the white claw <laughs> pain relief basic pain relief now not basic uh indica like it was where that put you out right yeah, this, this one is pain relief so <clears throat> you're still gonna be um it's got that 60 40 where you're still able to function do yeah stuff and, like kick her kick it with that 40 percent sativa at that 60 percent you can really feel it with that thc level coming in there like just going oh that's, yeah. that's where the papaya punch, yeah. you know sociable for <laughs> sure uh for sure definitely sociable but i feel a uh, number if you smoke a number of these ones you'll definitely be uh <coughs> going down then for sure get you sleepy it'll definitely get you sleepy um the flavor on this is outstanding <coughs> absolutely outstanding it's a uh, berry uh, very fruity, uh, sweet and spicy, and tropical. Tropicana. Tropicana. Tropical, tropical twist. And Hawaiian punch. Hawaiian punch. Well, and no, it's not, it doesn't taste like that. I was just thinking of shit that sounded tropical. Oh, yeah. And then the aroma, if you will, the smell, like, smelling that, the smell is even good. It's sweet. It's uh, fruity sweet. Mm -hmm. Fruity and Literally sweet. tropical. Like, I remember saying that earlier. I was like, 
Man, we need to get a strain. This is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a strain that was like tropical, sweet, fruity, like kind of like the season changed. So I wanted to hurry up and get on with it. Mm. You know, let's change the season with some good shit. Mm. So this was the one I was looking for. Definitely. Yeah. But that was uh, today's strain that we found from. I'm thinking it's starting to shape up to be one of our favorite uh, stores so far, Kevin, because. Um, Man, I gotta tell you, all the strains that we've gotten from there so far have been A1, man. Even steak sauce. Yeah, even <laughs> uh, some of the ones that they say were mid shelf or whatever are still holy, man. A1. Yeah, bro. Just A1. But this one here, the papaya punch, definitely top shelf and wow. It's top shelf and wow. That is top shelf and wow. <laughs> that shit is as tall as he is. That's a huge bomb there, Kevin. Yeah, that's probably uh probably 18, 18 inches, 20, 20, maybe. Whoo! Look at you go. I, so not one of these. Not too big that I can't tackle it though. <coughs> so <clears throat> when we were um this was gonna it was gonna start getting deep so i was like man we gotta start recording the show because if we start talking about it we're not gonna be able to you know anything it'll yeah. just be it'll go on so you smoke this one unit and you're like man what would kevin do as a dinosaur oh, kevin so i think <laughs> what we need to figure out before what, what we're gonna know what he does as a dinosaur. We gotta figure out what the fuck kind of dinosaur he is in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What kind of dinosaur would you wanna be, Kevin? A triceratops. A tri because you're always horny? <laughs> 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 Did she say yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So triceratops. Hey. <laughs> so why? What about what 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 would you pick? What would you pick? I also never even thought about it. Honestly, probably Velociraptor. No lie. Oh, no lie. Don't tell me the truth. Lie. <laughs> lie. Lie. Oh, you want me to lie? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> probably uh, Pterodactyl then. You know that a Megalodon. Mm. Be a fucking Megalodon, man. A Megalodon. Big ass sharks, ginormous sharks. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. But yeah, if I was uh, a land dinosaur, definitely Velociraptor. Let me see. Like I mean, they're not top of the food chain, the Velociraptor, but uh, they're not bottom of the food chain either. But like. What are those tiny, tiny ass ones? Uh, I forget what those ones. They are look called. like the raptors, but they're like they're like tiny. Yeah. You know which ones I'm talking about, Kevin? The really tiny looking friggin' little fuckers. You know what? I think it's it's been. I have to take a look at. Uh, I have to take a look online. It's been so long since I like scrolled through dinosaurs. I, I'm afraid that I'm picking. I would totally change my mind if I went like flash. What dinosaur would you be? Ah! Uh, oh, we can do a what dinosaur are you test? What dinosaur are you test, Kevin? Kevin. You're eating in school canteen, did you? Nibble on a sand. 
tuck into it. What the fuck is this? I don't even know. This is from somewhere else, man. I feel like that's just stupid. Would you get, get a salad, get a veggie burger, get chicken nuggets, or eat the dinner lady? The dinner lady. Oh, I'm sure you would, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of show, man. No, I would, though. I would, though. Just, Take it right oh, downtown. <laughs> Ooh, that papaya is pretty tropical. Right? <laughs> Getting exotic wow, up in wow, this wow, bitch. Wow, wow, wow. Anyways. Anyways. Kevin, what's your favorite pizza to make after a shift? Yeah, man. You take I home go, and uh, smoke a big sesh. What's I, your favorite pizza? I gotta know. After? Yeah, you're a pizza dude. Let us know. Well, I uh, I like to double cook our pizza. So what I'll do is I'll I'll flash the pizza crust in the oven. Let it brown just slightly, pull it out, let it cool, and then I'll dress it uh, uh, with my toppings and then flash do a final flash. So that's the one thing that I like to do. That sounds tasty. So it's but like, what about your toppings? Yeah. What do you like to put on top of that? What's your fave? <coughs> this is a hard question. Hey. Kevin. Uh, oh, it's he's okay. okay, I'm kidding. Um, Why well, can't I hear you? Is he? Hold on. Vegetarian. Oh, and I would add Italian sausage and bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds pretty tasty. That then. sounds like a trip. Does Deb make pizza? Actually, I don't think they do. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if she did. Right? It'd be a lot cooler if she did. So, Kevin, is pizza? So if, you, if you pay attention, <laughs> when, you order, when you order a vegetarian, Pizza. When you order vegetarian pizza, usually they're well dressed. They well dress a vegetarian pizza because they're what they're charging you. So they usually top it up with veg. So that's why you ask for a vegetarian and then then, then pay extra for your two or three meat choices. That's fucking good. Bingo. He's a smart. He, guy. he knows the pizza business, man. He's a hustler. He knows how to order that. Right. So is that your favorite thing to munch out on then, Kevin, when is uh pizza when you're high? No. When I'm smoking, um, it's really it's it's it starts with the salt and ends with the sweet, you know, so chips and then chocolate. Oh, there yeah. you go. Chips and popcorn and chocolate in the same fucking yeah, thing. like milk duds in the popcorn or, or like M and M's. I mean, yeah, I like those new uh, salty snack things like yeah. the Kit Kat with the pretzels and like the popcorn and the chocolate bits yeah. all in one. Oh yeah, like they have the Kit Kat one and then they have the uh, Snickers one and then there's a Reese one and. Uh, Hershey one. Did you say cookies and cream? You did. I did say cookies and cream, I think. No, I didn't say cookies and cream. But there is one. There is a cookies and cream one. Uh, Kevin, you I don't have... seem to <clears throat> you don't seem to see, uh, you don't seem to see uh cracker jacks anymore. Can you say cracker jacks? I can't seem anymore? to think I like I'm, I'm yeah. Well it's like do you see no like the popcorn, the caramel popcorn. Yeah, yeah, no. Do you guys with ever the, remember seeing that stuff? Yeah, with the penis in it. And it comes with the prize in it. Yeah. The penis with the prize in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, do they still sell those things? Do you see them anymore? Uh, yeah, they do, but I think they're more or less in the States now. Oh, they're at the dollar store, bro. Yeah, but like you can find them. You can find them for sure. 
<coughs> but they're not in a box anymore. They're in a bag. Yeah. They were awesome when they came in a box. More environmentally friendly, too. Yeah. Fuckers. Fuckers. What's your favorite stoner movie, Kev? What's your favorite stoner movie, Kev? I'm stoned. Dude, you were stoned before we started. Uh. <laughs> but you know what? What? That's good shit. Yeah, what's your favorite stoner movie, Kevin? Because I got to tell you, mine right now has got to be between Pineapple Express and Days to Confused. Days to Confused was fucking great. It's a legend movie, right? Up in Smoke, though. Up in Smoke, yeah. That one's a good one. Um, uh, what's another one? Yeah. It's been a while since I haven't seen that for like many years. I haven't seen up in smoke for probably 20 years. So the fact that, you know, you ask about the stoner movie, it's like, yeah, you know what? That one. Yeah. I need to watch that again. <laughs> I know me too. Um, I like the one with Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa too. What's that? High school high or whatever? I haven't seen that one. I'll have to watch it. Yeah. That's where that, that uh that song came from which one that so what we get drunk so what we smoke can't hear you we're just having fun we don't care who see so i got a question for you i have a question for you what what current rap what current rap band do you like to listen to when you're Smoking bongs. What current what rap them, duo? Current, current rap duo. Current rap duo. Current, current rap duo. Current, current rap, rap duo. Can they even do that anymore? <laughs> uh, Some of them, maybe. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh. I would have to say, well, I he, is he current yet? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, ooh. Um, run the jewels. Run, 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 run the, the jewels. jewels. There you go. Too bad we can't play it. Um, what's that oh, one? Oh yeah, you can't. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't play it. What's that one I like there? I don't know, but you can't play it. Fuck you, YouTube. Uh, still haven't gotten those shirts yet. Yeah, right? I'm still waiting on my shirts. The, the, the fuck your age restriction. King Kuta. You want to age restrict something? Fuck this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, Kendrick Lamar. Right, right. That's his name. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. That be... crazy fucking. Yeah. I like Kendrick Lamar. He's my current. He's a current. Well, like the most current, I guess I could think of. Current, like he's currenty. Yeah. He's a Swift uh, current. I mean, shout out to the guys in Swift current and girls, whoever you are. Straight up. Yeah. Um, it's very Swifty. Yeah. Super Swifty. I'm I'm an old school rap. Yeah. Guy. You yeah. know, like when rap was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I still like Dre, and I still mm -hmm. like Eminem, and. Notorious B.I.G. Like that gangster rap. Yeah, Puffy. I like Mace. Like, I think Mace is like pretty. Gangster rap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gangster rap is just the way to go. Like, it just says it. <clears throat> says it how it is. Yeah, like, Mama said knock you out. <laughs> yeah, legit. I like all that music. Like, I don't know. I, I like all music, really, Kevin, to be honest with you. you living on, if you're Ever growing up on the res, you legit are exposed to so many new things. Yeah, so you aren't prejudiced to music because you like it all from You're rap. Up with everything. Yeah, rap, country, rock, you name it, folk, whatever. If it gets you <coughs> toe tapping, usually I like it. We'll ride to the fair listening to gangster rap, jump out and two step with somebody. Legit. We'll listen to gangster rap, murder <coughs> rap. Go to the fair when the going to the fair was a thing yet. And he's right. Listen to old 
old country. I mean, people old with the banjos country. and shit. Legit, yeah. Like that. <laughs> it just reminded me of. I can't <laughs> wait to be able to see a concert again. Like, We're right? Right? Be an sitting like here. Rage like, again. <laughs> like a concert, I'd be so great. I'm gonna find my baby girl <laughs> <laughs> the afternoon delight. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's really, 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 really good weed. Um, yeah. <laughs> So uh, the entire week last <laughs> week, Kevin, um, like I said, we found this store <coughs> and we have yet to have a stream that's really below 22% THC <coughs> level. Uh, Friday, I, I don't know if we were telling you yet or not, uh, Friday we had one. It was unreal. And we cannot talk about this enough. It was Phenome 51. <laughs> Phenome 51. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know what we should do right now? What should we do right now? <laughs> we should do a top five list. A top five list. So we'll just begin it and we'll put Phenome 51 on there. Totally. Actually, let's just write names on here. Phenome 51. Yeah, Phenome 51. This is going on the board. This papaya punch is going on the board. Yeah, papaya punch. And we and we're still on the look for this brownie scout and toad. <coughs> we have two on there. I don't know what order to put them in as one. Or Actually, two. you know what? For all our viewers out there, <coughs> if you've had a high THC <coughs> strain, comment and hit us up. We want to try that. We want to review that. That's right. Drop it in the comments. Tell us what strain it is. Let us try it out because we have been trying some pretty deadly stuff. Like legit, we're starting a top five list. We got Phenom Fifty One on there. We got Papaya Punch on there. I don't know which one to put as number one yet. Here's what I'll say: We know Ooh, Papaya categories. We know Papaya <laughs> Punch and Phenom Fifty One are on there, no matter what. So yeah. we can. It's hard to rank them without having another three for a top five yet or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we know those are on the list. We don't know the other three. What might be? Uh... <coughs> no, <clears throat> but I mean, what what would they be between number one and number two? Between the two of them, Phenom Fifty One for sure. For me, yeah. would be one, and this one would be number two. <coughs> just because the Phenom Fifty One, that was just like one of them was like, wow. But what what was the percentage of Phenom Fifty One? The Phenom Fifty One, I think, was either an eighty twenty or a seventy thirty. That's what I mean. We're gonna have to have like categories <clears throat> to rank it like that. We're gonna have to rank the Papaya Punch with other sixty forties and the Phenom Fifty One with other. But the thing is, the Phenom Fifty One had thirty percent THC. This one has twenty eight. So I think we're thinking too much about it and just need to make a top five. That's what I'm saying to you. So yeah. we know that these are the it's first. already in order. Yeah, these are two or whatever, right? Phenom Fifty One is number one. Papaya Punch is number two. And if you can't say an immediate strain right after, it's not on the top five. No, that's what I'm saying to you. If you have to think about it hard <laughs> exactly. enough, exactly, it's not on. <laughs> Except for we talked about the orange barber. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, exactly. That's got okay. That on orange barber, that's got to go on there for us. Like it wasn't maybe so it wasn't much the best, but it's memorable. <laughs> yeah, it was very memorable. I'll have to try it again. I even feel like that was even a sativa, to yeah. be honest. Actually, yeah, that's why we thought it was so fucking good. Yeah, it was awesome. Hey, we got that. Let's put the sativa in green. Mm. I thought the orange barba was fantastic. Well, bro. See, now you're getting, you can't be saying like strains of like indica or whatever. We're just saying top five, right? Whether it's sativa, I'm indica. It, I'm just making it so we remember what they are. Yeah, whether it's sativa, indica, or a hybrid. Yeah. They pretty much all are. Yeah, they pretty much are. Oh, you know what? The red darkness. Red darkness. Yeah. Oh, sure. right. Let's put that in red just because. That was red. Kevin, what's the best weed you've ever smoked? What's the best weed you've ever smoked, Kevin? <clears throat> The stuff that's free. 
Don't be a slut. Yeah, don't be like that. No, like, can, <laughs> don't you, be a slut. Can, can you remember a strain where you smoked it and you were just like, whoa, that was a deadly strain. Like that, one of them, maybe even a joint, if you will, could knock you out. Some, you know, some of the stuff, like I grew, I some of the stuff that I've grown has really kicked. I've never like had been able to measure it or anything like that. But yeah, and I'm not, I'm not. No, we're just like talking about what's the best. Great at it, you know. I'm just regular. But uh, that was the stuff that I grew a couple of years ago. But other than that, I would have to say that I'm. Uh, I'm I'm a Kush guy. Kush guy. Any strain, Kush. Basically. Nice, nice. Yeah. I like Kush. The Kush is good. You have to put Kush on there because you're a butt talker and you said it. Mm-hmm. So, oh, let's look. Let's go. Kush. But Kevin he, Kush. Kevin Cushman. <laughs> Kevin just all of a sudden had to make him Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean that. I meant like, because Cushman, he's a man. Yeah. Cushman, Kevin Cushman. Right? He brings the sauce. He does bring the HP sauce. All lubed up. Ready to go. So, you know what was my favorite strain of sativa other than Orange Barbara? Which? Was the Skittles. It was, was it the Skittles or was it the... Uh, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops was good. No, that fruity one that we had. It was a sativa. It might have been Skittles. I, I like that one. I thought we literally had Fruit Loops. We had both of them, though. See, this is what happens, too, Kevin, when you get reviewing strains. You know you reviewed them. You know you've had them now. We've gone through so many. It's just like, oh. Like, which one was that again? <laughs> yeah, which one was that again? Like... Going to the memory bank or whatever. <laughs> this is why we have a strain gallery now. That's right. So we can go back and remember. That needs to be updated. Exactly. So everybody can go on there because that's going to be part of our 100th giveaway too. Yeah. And all our weed on there. So you can pick your strain. Be like, what did they smoke? So once it gets up there, like, holy, we're going to have what? We're going to easily have over 100 up there. Yeah. And you know what? This is actually a good idea because you could probably put this as like uh, uh, our top five pictures. Yeah. Our, this is our favorite strain so far. So if Whoever wins, it could be like, hey, you know what? Let's, let's try some of that let's stuff. Try, let's try some of that stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we're talking to Cynthia. She was you like, you know, Yo. what I find interesting is is myself. I've never, I've never thought about like, like cataloging myself what I've smoked, and uh, it's interesting because it makes me wonder, like, how many people do catalog it. And um, if if there's a large number, is there is it like what kind of age group? You know, like is it is it is it people that smoke if, like people that smoke for a long time? Like yeah. do they uh, do they prefer certain you know what certain you know? Anyways. Yeah, like what's, no, what's, you have a good point. And yeah. one of the things that we were talking about actually on that is um one of my favorites of all time. Well, it's not so much anymore, it was Purple Kush. Yeah. I think both of ours was Purple Kush for a, the longest time. Yeah. Funny you should say Kush. Um, then because that was a popular strain, it was overproduced and it got weaker. So then it became pink kush and then that was overproduced. So then it became, um, how do you say, a trend then of these strains. Uh, it wasn't just kush, then it was like rock star or yeah. Girl Scout cookies or white rhino, like AB was one of his favorites. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was huge in 2009. Yeah. But now here in, actually, we were even saying that too, wasn't it? In 2009, White Rhino is huge. And that was just after it started to become more available. Yeah. And it was just starting to become more available. 
and then soon after it took a, a dip yeah i so, remember we only got it like a few times and i was like all right this is whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> you know so uh, i'm I think terrible for that like myself i'm terrible i don't know what i smoke to be honest for the most part like i like i, I look at the times. label and, and i smoke it i i look at the label and i smoke it but i never really like i don't know i it wasn't really until I, about I never really think about it. I never really. <laughs> yeah. Um, like AB was saying, uh, it wasn't really about 2008, 2009, really, that until we knew what we were smoking, because uh, then it started becoming more popularized. Popularized. So people were like, okay. One stream that I have is like different. It was the push for legalization. So yeah. People were trying to explain what you were smoking and show, you know. And then everything. it started, yeah, becoming more popular. So people started understanding more like, okay, I'm having a sativa, so I'm not going to be brought down later. Right. I'm having an indica now. I need to have a sleep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. And then with that came strain name. And the people started realizing, okay, if I go to... Well, there were strain names. They just started to actually learn them. Well, yeah. And then, you know, then they were able to, um, how do you say, picture and visualize then strain names with if they were indica or sativa or not. Yeah. Like tie them in together. And then they were like, okay, well, I know Kush is a heavy indica. And then, like you said, your favorite kinds are all Kush. And mine was purple kush. So unfortunately, like I said, when they become more popular, <laughs> they get overproduced. <laughs> yeah. That is a really good weed. Yeah, that's good. This actually this papaya punch is starting to I know it's fighting with the phenome 51 for number one right now. I have to go back and watch that because I feel like it took you a really long time to say that. It might have, but I don't did know. It? Did, was that did that take a long time for me to say? There's a delay in my internet. <laughs> Fucking delaying your internet, all right? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, this is a hilarious show so far, Kevin. Listen. I gotta tell you. Oh my! God. I don't know what you're smoking, but we're what we're smoking here right now. It's pretty is good. Papaya punch. This is pretty good weed. Pretty good weed. That's some good weed. That's some good weed. And yeah, I would tell you where to find it, but I'm not going to tell you where to find it. But anyway, yeah, the point I was trying to make earlier is the fact that <laughs> because we have strains now, these are like yeah. the popular, not popular, but like the strains that got us high now. You know what yeah, I mean? The best we, ones. Yeah, now we got good strains now. Because we could say our favorite strain would be Purple Kush. I'm not going to lie. My favorite strain is Purple Kush. But if you get purple kush nowadays, is that going to be really freaking good? Uh, medium. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So the hyper analysis yeah. says maybe. I mean, I have 69% of the time it works all the time. <laughs> right. So I'm saying if anyone finds a strain of purple kush that's like OG rare and it's like, here, have this. And it's like, yeah, that's the purple kush I know and remember. Yeah, well, any strain is what, like whatever, too. Look, there was that other strain. There was four different variants of it. And we had the diesel, the gassy kind. So. Oh, yeah. the <clears throat> There was uh, two uh, two gassy ones and then two... So it's still uh, kind of take ones. what you get. Yeah. Unless you test it. Unless you test it. But, but Kevin, yeah, so... It's kind of like, I don't know. Do you feel the same way? Like, was there a strain, actually? Here's a better Do question. Do you feel the same way? Hey, Kevin. Here's a better question. 
knowing that what we go through, was there a screen when you were younger that was hot? Like everyone knew that this one was. What was it that Maui Wowie? Was yeah Maui Wowie. <laughs> Uh, who, like I, I don't like I, I never. Um, for for me, it wasn't really strange when I was younger. Yeah, it was passion. oil on papers. Oh yeah, oil. Right on. But yeah, you just knew it like as weed. You didn't know like the name of it or nothing like that. On weed. On weed. On weed. Uh, no. But did you know what is also no. a great way Not really. to ingest your cannabis? It's through Choice Edibles. Choice Edibles is fantastic to get. You can find all of their products located in all the dispensaries as Tainanega, Ganasadage, Akwazasne, and Pekwahnagan. That's what happened last time. You said in all the dispensaries on Instagram at choice.edibles. That's what happened last time. I knew there was a reason. Uh, I was. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> because after I thought, I'm like, why the fuck am I, why am I laughing? But that's why. But yes, you are absolutely right. That's where they are. But I cut it clean that time. You did. You got you're it. Waiting, you were waiting for me to mess up, and I didn't. No, I wasn't waiting for you to mess up because you said it right, and I was like, "That's what happened." It clicked clean. It yeah, clicked it in clicked. There, eh? It clicked. I'm like, "That was right." Wait, that's why I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's how so, good choice edibles are. That is how good choice edibles are. And wash it down, listen to Real Coffee. Go to www.tworowcoffeeco.ca where coffee and culture connect. Follow on Instagram and Twitter at Two Row Coffee Co. And get your land back bold. Seven Oaks Medium. Eastern, Eastern Door Mile. And Eastern Door Mile. And also make sure that you sign up. And subscribe to our show on youtube for your chance to be entered into the hundreds giveaway where we will have a prize lot that will be a 10 ounce bag of coffee from two row coffee co any strain from our weed strain uh, in our in website our strain gallery and our strain gallery on our website yeah. as well as some choice edibles and the wonka bar and the wonka bar so get all that into and the next time we go live we're going to give away two grams of hash as well as some gummies and 100 milligram lollipop from choice edibles as well so as soon as the video is done we'll pick a winner and then get your address send it out to you because we like to give away free stuff yeah so, so like and share everything always so hey kevin it's been a sesh hey kevin it's been a fantastic show thanks for joining us again and we hope to have you back again sometime yeah thanks guys i really appreciate it i love hanging out great awesome. smoking with you Take care, man.